How can Roman engineers achieve their emperor's demands? They turn to the iconic Roman arch. The exterior of the amphitheater is characterized by the repetition of what is called the fornix motif. The fornix is the basic building unit of any Roman amphitheater. It consists of an arch supported by two pillars. Think of a unit as being from the center of the pillar to the center of the next pillar. And then you can multiply that in any way. The repetition of the fornix, 80 around its circumference and four stacked one above the other, is the most recognizable visual of an amphitheater. But behind every great fornix arch is a series of supporting arches called vaults. And those vaults go back into the building. They're very strong, so they're the architectural and structural mechanism by which you hold up all of this seating and the 50,000 spectators. In addition to beautiful design, the Fornix as basic building unit has other advantages. The Colosseum could be divided into four essentially identical sections. The modularity of the Colosseum's design aided speed, efficiency and cost of construction. The repetition allows you to divide up segments and attribute them to different work teams and have them all running concurrently and that saves a lot of time and speed has an added benefit to Emperor Vespasian. Getting an amphitheatre built quickly was a demonstration of your power, your efficiency, your drive, 